I am in cowboy heaven. Wow. Yeah. Look how tiny this thing is. It's two and a half inches by two and a half inches by seven inches. Wait, I talk about portable. This thing. Well, just open it, Marcus. Tell us what it is. Well, hey, today's a fun video. We're outside in the beautiful sunny outdoors. Uh, today we're talking about portable reflectors. Now, I made a video last year about bigger reflectors and diffusers and things like that. You really should check that out. It's very informative. Today I'm talking about more about portable reflectors. Now, the word portable is kind of... Everybody has like a different uh, concept of what portable means. To some people, this means portable. Now, it's, I think for me, lightweight's a big part of being portable, but this is kind of long. Some people might not mind because this doesn't really weigh much, but it's four feet long. The ones that I'm going to show you today, these are what I consider portable. These are small, lightweight, easy to use. The normal one that most people think about when they think of reflector is something like this. This is a, it's a five in one and it pops open to about this size and this is what most people use as a reflector. The problem with these is, is they're flexible and when it's just you and the model, and there's nobody else to hold the reflector. If you have somebody to hold the reflector, that's fine. But if you don't, which is what a lot of people are in a situation of, you need a light stand that can hold it and not something that flops in the wind. And it's not like, you know, this is not that easy to hold. The wind will catch it. So you need something a little more rugged than this. If you have a person holding it, then yeah, this is fine. But uh, so I'm gonna show you things that are more sturdier that don't flop as much, that you can put on a light stand, and that don't weigh much, and that are really small to carry. Here's a smaller version. This is what some people are used to also. This is a little three-in-one. This is okay, but if you're doing a real photo shoot, I mean a serious one, this isn't gonna be that much light, and it's not very big, so. I mean, <laughs> in an emergency, this might work, but you can't lighten up more than a face with this, and you gotta be pretty close for it. So, I mean, it's okay if you have nothing else, but these ones that I'm gonna show you now are actually a little better than that. And you can also use something like this. This, even though it doesn't collapse, it's really lightweight. This is a two by two hard framed uh, thing that you can just grow with a grip head. So it's down to this this, and believe it or not, this. <laughs> yeah, this. We'll get to this last. And now some people are gonna mention the foam core one that I made. I consider that portable because it's it doesn't weigh anything. It's super lightweight. It doesn't collapse down, and that's the only thing. But the thing I like about the foam core one is it's hard. It's a hard surface. It cannot bend in any way, and it weighs nothing. I do like the foam core one for sure, but I didn't put it in this video because a lot of people might consider that not portable. This one, eh. This isn't totally portable. I mean, it is portable, but it's not very small. But it's so easy to use. It's a four by four frame, which is a really good size, which is why I like it. And you have a choice between diffusion and reflection. So today's video is about reflectors. So you've got two choices with this one. You've got white and silver. And literally within 30 seconds, you've got the thing ready to go. And for my light stand, I'm gonna use the one that I featured in one of my videos. It's the KNF Concepts. It's really, really lightweight, but it's really sturdy, and it doesn't take up much space, and the legs go in different angles, and it can go pretty darn high. So, look at this. Look at how fast that sets up. It weighs nothing, so it's ready to go. Always secure your light stand with rocks or weights. So this is the 4x4 silver. Silver's a little on the bluish cold side. Now the one thing about reflectors is you need sun. Right now it's half cloudy up there, so every few minutes it gets cloudy like right now, and then you gotta play the waiting game. That's the sucky thing about reflectors. So that's why I like to use lights, like actual lights, where you find a shady spot and then you just light it up. All right, looks like it's gonna happen in a few seconds here. Here we go, okay, here we go. <laughs> Yeah. Take the lens cap off. Darr. Nice. So that's a basic reflector. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good. I like that. Yeah. And reflectors are also good for getting light underneath of a hat, which is really good. Oh, right there. Perfect. Okay. Oh. 
All right, first up by California Sun Bounce is this 33 inch round thing. And it's pretty, pretty uh, rugged. It has a handle on each side. So this is good for putting in your clamp and just clamping it in place. The one thing that you will need for almost all reflectors and a light stand is a super clamp. A super clamp is a clamp that goes on a light stand and then you clamp whatever it is you want to that. Yeah, that's nice. Without a reflection, with a reflection. Now normally you'd have the reflector up higher, aiming so the light comes down, but she has a hat on, so we have to kind of have the light coming from below a little bit. Here we go, and nice. Notice how the skin tones are warmer and more flattering with this one? That's because this isn't just silver like the last one. The reason this one looks better is this has what's called a zebra pattern. It's silver and gold zigzag stripes. Gold is always too orangey and silver is too bluish. So this is perfect for her skin tones. I love the zebra. They all have white on the back. So if you want a softer reflection, then you can use white also for a nice glamour look. But I like the harsh stuff. I like like really dramatic looks. So let's get on to the next one here. This is a California Sun Bounce Micro Mini. The company is California Sun Bounce, but it's actually <laughs> made in Germany. That is really funny. And it actually has a, a picture on the back of the person who, who made it with the signature. <laughs> That's kind of funny. They're not that cheap, but they're high quality because they are German. So expect to pay a little bit more for German stuff. I'm German, by the way, so I'm a little, a little biased in that area. So anyway, this is what it is. It's, this is the part that you do, and it's really easy to put together. These rods, this is really clever. There's a little cap that you take off. Inside, there's another rod. That's really cool. And then that goes on that end. Same with this one. Take the cap off. Goes on the other end. And stretch it. And it goes really, really tight. So then you clamp it in the middle like that. Really easy. And then... All you have to do is adjust this accordingly and you're ready to go. Okay, here we go. Okay. Nice, that was good. These are great. Remember her face is actually in shade. We're lighting that up. Nice. This is lighting up underneath the hat really nice. Normally that area would be totally black. Oh, hold it right there. Don't move. Wow, this one's a classic. Look out that way, like, yeah, that's perfect, yes. Yes, oh, you're gonna love these. Oh, wow. Yes. And go. Yes! Oh, now we're in the groove. Wow, these are these are great. Wow! 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 Focusing hand. Oh, that was perfect. I'm in cowboy heaven. Yeehaw! Okay, now for this thing. It's amazing to think that this is actually worth anything as a reflector. It's made by Manfrotto, so that means it's probably worth something. So look how tiny this thing is. It's two and a half inches by two and a half inches by seven inches. Wait, I talk about portable. This thing, well, just open it, Marcus. Tell us what it is. We don't care about your introduction. All right, here it is. This is it right here. It's a shiny thing and these things. This is very similar to, you know, those tent poles, how they have a, uh, what do you call it, uh, a, a rubber, a, no, they have a rubber band inside that holds them together. So it's basically, when you put all these together, you have a giant circle. And then it has this clamp down here, I don't know if you can see that, you just clamp it together, and now you have a circle. And now these, this thing, this is so clever. Manfrotto is great. They have these little clamps on here, little plastic clamps that you just clamp onto this thing. It's got white on one side, silver on the other, really lightweight and nice hard handle. And the handle, look at how much this is thought out. The handle even has a quarter 20 thread on it. Ha, that is really good thinking right there. But I'm not gonna use a quarter 20 thread. I'm just gonna use the super clamp to clamp it in here. 
And look at that, it's already reflecting on her. Look at that. Wow. Look at that, look how bright that is. That's pretty darn amazing. Wow. Let's take a picture. Don't move, that's perfect. Ooh, this looks like a postcard. Oh, perfect, don't move. Oh, these are amazing. I like to use reflectors as a soft edge spotlight. It really helps put emphasis on a certain part of the picture. It gives it kind of a magic look. And magic is what photography is to me. Okay, so this is with silver. Let me put the gold and silver zebra stripe on so you can see the difference. So this is the gold and silver zebra stripe. And this is with the zebra stripes. Oh yeah, this looks nice. The sun bounce reflectors come in all kinds of different sizes. This is a bigger one, then they have an even bigger one that's like four feet by six feet. I'm not showing those because I don't consider these really portable, but a lot of people are gonna mention this one because this is what a standard size reflector is. So I'm gonna, this is what it is. It's these things plus this, and this is what it's like. It's three feet by four feet, and this is a good one. It's got two handles. This is really good for hand gripping, especially in the wind, because you got, it's a two gripped one. This is a really good size reflector, but again, I don't consider this one really portable. I always use this one. When I go on vacation or travel, this is the size I use. This is good enough for lighting me up <clears throat> from here to here for when I do talks. This one is more than good enough. All you need is a super clamp on the back of this thing and that goes right onto a light stand and it works really good. Here's some shots that I did using this thing when I'm traveling around. I used it in Hawaii, I used it in Death Valley. It packs down really small, it's really lightweight, travels really well, and it's a pretty good size. Two feet by three feet, I think. This is a really good size reflector. This one is overkill. I just got it so I could show you what size it is, but I never use it. So there you have some uh, different portable reflectors. I mean, this big thing here goes into this tiny little bag here. That's pretty amazing, huh? And I also like the California Sun Bounce, made in Germany. <laughs> but this one here is so cool. Look at how tiny this is, and it works really well. Uh, so there you've got some nice portable reflectors that you could take out when you're, when it's sunny, and, uh, and you've got something to reflect onto. <laughs> you know what? I should reflect something on my face. There. Now I've got some light on my face thanks to a reflector. This is the California Sun Bounce. And this is my bright girlfriend here. Look how amazing she is. Isn't she amazing? She's so bright. It's awesome. So here you go. Reflectors for you. I've used these in so many talking videos where I'm outside. The white obviously isn't as blinding as the shiny sides. And a lot of people would probably prefer the white. But I like being blinded because I like... I like the drama of the, the light. It's just, I love it. That's just me. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one for something else interesting in the photography world. Until then, have a great time. Bye-bye.